All right, hi everybody. Um, I am again on the Mercedes. I just pulled off the intake bridge and I'm getting ready to pull these fuel lines off. I have all the return lines over here. Just, there really wasn't much in them, but you can see there's like a little bit kind of dripping out slowly. But um, had an interesting problem getting the intake bridge off. So here's a normal bolt. You can see it's been kind of worked on. It's got some shining to it because I had to grab it with some vice grips because it started stripping. This one, that doesn't look great at all. So <clears throat> this was right here, right? Um, <clears throat> I It just completely stripped out on the inside. I mean, you can see this thing's completely rounded. Um, I came at it with vice grips. Wasn't enough room because of that. Couldn't get it with normal pliers. Tried the torch, tried hammering it in. I don't have a welder. That would probably would have been my next step. Um, tried drilling it out, but as you can see, when I tried to hit it with the drill, you can't hit it straight because it's so close to there. Um, let me show you here. There's just not enough room to get my drill and actually drill straight there. Um, ended up using the Sawzall and cut slits into it. You can see that's kind of, you can kind of see the slits there. Cut slits into it, got a screwdriver tried to unscrew it and it promptly broke in half so you know really going well um just by pure luck i was able to grab one of the surviving halves with pliers because i had room now because of this because it wasn't being blocked by that little nub and i was able to get it out so we had to go to a junkyard anyway to get the uh to get some extra injectors so we can test a bunch to hopefully have some good ones but uh I'm just gonna steal maybe two or three more bolts because they really like to strip. I don't. They're supposed to be Torx 30s. Torx 30 seems to fit in there pretty well, but it still has some room. I don't have any 35s. All I have is like 27, 30, 40, 45. It's annoying, but um, 30 seems to fit pretty closely. So I'm just gonna continue using that. I'll just get some new bolts from a parts car. But uh, pulled off these return lines as I said and started pulling off the fuel lines i just i realized hey i should probably like make a video of all this so um started pulling the fuel lines off they all broke loose real easy nothing was really evident to have been leaking or anything like that and uh i mean you can see i have one off here but uh, i'm gonna next try to pull off the injectors it should be a 27 which i actually just happened to have a 27 deep socket so hopefully this is enough to get on there but uh yeah so i'm gonna Pull these off and head. To, next thing will be probably heading to a junkyard to get the uh, extras. Go out to Harrisburg, meet that guy, and test them all. And hopefully, we'll have a good running car after that. I also, I should mention, uh, I think I mentioned the throttle broke last time. I'll give a kind of a close video here again, so you can see. Just keep that close, so you can see it's held together with zip ties. I got some uh, high heat uh, JB weld, quick steel, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm going to just wrap that around so it's a little bit better than zip ties. I mean, the zip ties have held up great, but just something a little extra because I don't want to be driving along. And I mean, the zip ties hold great, and the zip ties break, that's fine, but they're holding the plastic together. So if I lose one of those plastic pieces, I'm not going to be able to reattach it. So anything I can do to keep it from vanishing and actually holding together. Um, so that's kind of kind of where we're at so I just wanted to post a little update so hope everyone's doing well happy July it's almost Independence Day so I hope everyone has a good one